Good morning, everyone. It's Will Taylor. <laughs> How you doing? This is one of my Coffee with Will segments. I'm on the way to take some chicken soup to a sick friend where I share ideas and thoughts that have come up with me that might help you and we can all help each other. Today's thought is, today's topic is, there's life how it is and then life how we think it should be. And the more that we cling to the latter, the more that we suffer. And I think this is definitely the case with type A American way of living. There's such a focus on goals. When we focus on goals and we don't reach those goals, then we suffer because we consider ourselves consider ourselves a failure. I'll give you an example. Um, I didn't sleep very well last night. You probably see, you can tell by my face. I didn't sleep very well last night. And, uh, you know, our subconscious has a place in this too because when you don't sleep well, your body feels bad. And I don't want to feel like this. But this is just what is right now. So it's probably, it's better if I just accept, okay, didn't sleep well. Uh, you're going to have a good day. You're going to go about your day, do the things that you need to do. Be kind to yourself. Do everything you can do to support good sleep. Send those messages to my subconscious. And then uh, hopefully we'll we'll sleep well tonight. Rather than dragging myself around all day, oh God, I haven't slept well. This sucks. And, you know, making a big deal out of it. So, <clears throat> I think this is a really good teaching and I see it in many different areas, especially in this talk I heard recently about goal setting and how Americans and, or some people are very focused on goals and if they don't reach those goals, they become depressed and disappointed in themselves. And I think it's more important, I'm, I'm guilty of, of doing the same thing, of, of looking back and, oh, my life could have been so much better if I had made this decision or if I had achieved this goal. As you get older, it gets more difficult to look back on your life. And I think it's better to look back and say, what did I learn in the process? Like, go for the goals. Have your, have your, um, you know, energy to go out and great do great things. But it's about what you learn in the process, not whether you get to the goal or not. I'm coming upon an accident up here, so hope these people are okay. So that's uh, my thought for the day to share with you. Would love your feedback. What do you think about that? Simple thought. I guess it's kind of Buddhist, isn't it? I'm going to come back online with another topic that I want to share. So I want to complete this one and hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, Karen and I are recording music today. We are doing our new Celtic album. And I'm going to just be kind to myself, take my time and enjoy the day this best I can. Maybe I can get a meditation or a nap in to feed my body a little bit since it's low on sleep. I hope everybody has a great day. I hope everybody is having a great day if you want to be notified of when our new album is coming out. You can go to Karen and Will Music. That's Karen and Will Music.com. Click over on the learn more button and you'll be taken to five days of Karen Mall and Will Taylor stories about our background, our music, Karen's Celtic music journey, and all that good stuff. Love to hear your feedback on what I talked about today. It was very short, but I think it's a very useful thought. Again, I'll share it. There's life how it is, and there's life how we want it to be. The more that we cling to the latter, the more we suffer.